It's hard to believe, but the high school basketball playoffs are almost here, and teams across the two state are battling for their region titles. Let's drive over the river to Aiken, where the Lady Hornets went head to head with the defending state champion, North Augusta Lady Jackets. Let's go straight to the third. Off the inbounds pass here, Azaria Sapp drives and then gets the floater to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Azaria Sapp is only in eighth grade, and she's already a problem on the court. And you know who else is a problem? Kennedy Wright. She takes the defender off the dribble, gets the contact, and then lays it in for the and one. The Lady Jackets win their eighth game in a row to remain unbeaten in region play, 60 to 30. The boys of both sides of this rivalry are atop the region standings as well. Tied coming into tonight. And the Jackets started up buzzing in the, four, in the first. North Augusta started the game on an 8-0 run in part because Deron Dunbar was feeling it. He was on fire from behind the arc. Back-to-back -back threes in transition had them cooking early. Aikens, Jimmy Williams puts an end to that run by crashing the offensive boards and then getting the three-point play the old-fashioned way, getting this wide and one to go on the continuation. This was a fun game to watch, but in the end, the Yellow Jackets stung the Hornets 56 to 42. Right back here in Augusta, we had another fun showdown with a lot of playoff implications between Cross Creek and ARC. Let's fast forward straight into the fourth quarter. Ty Jai Hurd was in his bag in this one, and he swings it over to Kylan Clark, who's locked and loaded from three-point land. That score tied the game at 33 with seven minutes to go. A couple of possessions later, Clark swings it over to Hurd. He takes it to the rim, probably saying, can you hear me? And to that, I say loud and clear. Cross Creek dominated the fourth quarter, pulling away from ARC to win 55 to 45.